This week on Tell It Tuesday, I'm going to go through how to use the animations that are built in Tableau. So here you can see we have our measure selector. So we're going to flick between profit and sales. I'm just going to describe what each of the different animations is doing. But first, I'm just going to build a chart just so that you know that what's happening in there. So we're going to drag on subcategory and then we're going to um, create a new parameter and we're just going to call this measure string list change this to profit and change this to sales and then we're going to hit OK and now we're going to create our calculation which allows us to look at um, the measure switcher so just going to call this measure, going to do a case statement. So looking at when the measure, so when this is profit, then give me back the profit. Uh, and then another when statement, when sales, then sales. And I'm just going to end that because there's no other statements in my uh, parameter. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm just going to drag that on. And then we're going to also add that onto color. And now when I show my parameter control, it's going to switch between sales and profit. We're also going to add that into our sort by. So if I go to sort, change this to field, um, we want to go descending by measure. So now when I switch between sales it's just going to jump to sales instead so what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the animations so we, if you go to format animations now we have three options uh, two options you either can switch them on for the whole workbook and um, I don't recommend doing that um, just because of performance issues um, or you can uh, do it by selected sheets you can put the um, animations on for the whole workbook once you've built your dashboards, but otherwise when you're building, it's going to be animating as you're going through and it could hinder your build time. Um, on the uh, selected sheet, you can then put your animations on. So I'm going to switch them on. It gives it kind of a default settings. So um, we can change the timing of it if we want to go very slow or medium. Um, so I'm just going to put it on um, slow for now just to show you what it's doing. Uh, the default is simultaneous, so that means everything will move at the same time. The other one is sequential, so I'm going to explain the difference as best as I can. So if I now switch between sales and profit, what's going to happen is everything's going to move all at the same time. So we all, we're moving axes and we're moving the sort order, but everything is happening at the same time. So it looks quite like a smooth transition. So once more, change that to profit. Now, if we go sequential, what's gonna happen is it's going to do the axes first, then change the sort order. So if I hit sales, it's gonna move it up, move the particular subcategory to the length of the sales, then change the sort order. So once again, if I change it to profit, it's going to reduce the axes to be the profit first, then change the sort order. So if I hit profit, it's going to reduce it, then change the sort. And once more with simultaneous, what this is going to do, it's going to do the change the axes and the sort all at the same time. So that's just a quick introduction to animations. Um, I hope that um, helps understand them a little bit more as to what they're doing and why. They are unavailable on some mark types and um, you're best off having a simple uh, viz for animations to be switched on. Thank you.